tidy. Auntie loves me more than him, I'm sure. I'm calm and always sensible. I'm such a very clever cat. I know I'm slow and sometimes show a nerve or two. But Auntie loves me as much as her, I think. I'm loyal and very lovable. I'm what they call the family dog. My name is Tea Time. My name is Claudia. We like each other. In our way. Before our visitor came, I could look at Claudia or Auntie and know what they were feeling inside. A smile for happiness and a frown for bother. Since our visitor went, I've been practicing more difficult things. Like guessing what's happening outdoors when I'm indoors. No, I don't think I like this story. It gives me an ache in the head. No, but tell it again and you might understand it better. No, it's all a muddle. I can't remember the beginning, the end, or the middle. I'll give you a help. Auntie's plaything. Well, that comes at the beginning and the end. Mm -hmm. All right. Try this. Pring! Pardon? Oh! Oh, yes! I remember. It's when the doorbell rings and Auntie comes back with an untidy animal. Oh. And another dog. Both of them are covered in hair. Isn't it funny how some dogs look like their owners? Mm, it takes up all the room sitting on my rug. So I, under the table. I might get a biscuit crumb, though. No such luck. Auntie and the beardy animal are too busy chattering away about one of Auntie's playthings she's showing him. I try to be polite to our visitor, but he sticks his nose in the air and sniffs. <sniffs> Tea time. What a short name, eh? I'm champion champagne Charlie Choo Chin Chow. My friends call me Charlie. <sniffs> Tea time goes quiet. He doesn't know if they're friends or not. I'm in a muddle about that name. This is where the beardy animal gets up and goes. Leaving chir 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 you know who behind. <laughs> he just holds up his head and gives a bark that sounds more like a meow. Whoa! <laughs> Call that singing. He's upset, silly. He's upsetting me, silly, too. My animal's gone away for a time, he tells me. So I have to stay in house for a holiday. I hope the food is good. It's good enough. He eats what I spill on the floor. I go, ah, but he doesn't hear me. Ah. He's very polite to Auntie, though, which is more than some people I know are. <laughs> and she does everything he wants. He only has to sniff, and Auntie puts his bed next to the hot and rumble in the kitchen. So tea time has to sleep where it's not so warm. Sleep? What sleep? He snores all night. So do you. Why do you think I don't sleep in the kitchen? And it's worse next day. He goes on about how clever his family are. Who are yours, he sniffs. And I say, Auntie and Claudia and... That's not a real family, he goes. My father was champion show dog too. Uh, show off. Oh, he's just trying to find things to talk about. Yeah. Chow and I are friends. We talk about our coats. Oh, it's not fair having to sit under the table all the time. I've got to get him in disgrace. I know. I'll tell Mr. Rabbit's uh, chomping chin that Auntie has a laugh when she sees people in her armchair. Mm. And I tell Hush the parrot to hush. Uh, she shouts out when Auntie's near. It doesn't work. Chow sits in the chair, but then he suddenly jumps off. 
And a minute later, Auntie comes in with her shopping. He must have heard her coming. How? We didn't. I, I don't understand. I don't either. So what now? I know. I'll ask Mr. Chump Top Chew if he'd like to come for a trot round the garden. There's lots of interesting things to sniff. And, of course, Tea Time tells Gone the Tortoise not to say one word about no one being allowed on the flower beds eating flowers. Lovely flowers, aren't they, Mr. Chubby Chin? Go on, have a trample and a chew. Tea Time is so busy having a trample and a sniff himself, but Auntie catches him instead. Because Chow is yards and feet away on the grass. You told him, Claudia. I did not. I was at the kitchen window, quiet as a mouse. I think Chow must know things we don't know. I, I can't stand another day and night of this. Let's see. Another day and night, we're all sitting in the sitting room when Auntie brings in a new plaything she's made. Chow gets excited for the second time since he came. Whoa! Oh, good. He's upset again. Is he? Or does he know something? I don't care. This time I'll show him up. Auntie's gone out of the room, so when Mr. Chimchap isn't looking, I creep over to the plaything and... Bite off its nose and rush into the kitchen. <laughs> Do you think Auntie's going to be muddled by that? She is when I hide the nose in Mister's bed. <sighs> I've never seen tea time like he's been lately. Usually he's naughty by accident, not on purpose. It shows how mad I'm getting, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm in the garden now, sitting by the side of the house, getting my breath back when, when suddenly... <laughs> You had a lucky misty time. That piece of roof would have knocked you silly. Or sensible, maybe. How did he see it coming? I don't know. He was in the sitting room. And I'm in a daze. He must have just... felt... danger. Chow's sorry that tea time forgets to say thank you. Next time, he sniffs, I'll let the roof come clatter down on your head. I won't use my secret powers to save you. And he bounds back indoors. What now? Oh, <gasps> Of course, his beardy animal is here again. Oh, dear. Never mind how. He saved me from the roof. Just when I'm really getting him into trouble. I... I'd better put the nose back. It's not there. It's not here either. The beardy animal has picked up the plaything and he's laughing away. He likes it without a nose. He's putting it into his bag and giving Auntie a crinkly instead. Auntie's smiling and, and pointing a finger at me. Why? She knows about the nose. Time to say goodbye, tea time. Oh, goodbye, Claudia. Where are you going? Well, not me. They're going. Bye-bye, sniffs Chow. I've enjoyed myself a treat. Glad to have been of help. But we all friends now, I hope. I didn't know he was a friend. His nose was up in the air all day. He couldn't help the way he looked. And perhaps he only sniffed because he was getting a cold. Talking of noses, it's in my bed. You put it there. I did not. I told you. Chow knew things without knowing them. He gave me some helps. You close your eyes and imagine what's round corners. No, oh, I've been doing that ever since Chow went. But I still can't do it. I can't even do the easy bit anymore. I stare at Auntie and she stares at me and... No one knows who's feeling what. Hmm. <sighs>